wanted Terry over at Decorated More with Tip. Today's project is going to involve paint and a piece of jewelry. <laughs> I've seen this technique done several times. I've watched different people do it. Um, it's called string art, but I see a lot of people using chains. So we are going to take a piece of a necklace that is all tarnished. Um, so I took the charm off and we're going to use that with some paint. I want to do this technique on a big canvas and hang in our home, but I want some practice. So I thought I'd bring you along on how, um, if this even works. Um, I found these canvases at um, Dollar, uh, Dollar Tree. I like the thicker um, ones instead of the flat ones. They have the flat ones as well, but I purchased um, these three and I'm going to try it out on the big one in hopes that it, if it does work, I can at least kind of um, show it off in the home. Um, you're going to need definitely um, rubber gloves. I'm putting on an apron because I don't know how sloppy this is going to be. You're going to need paint of your choice. I am using Admiral Blue, White, and um, some Spring Rose um, for my art. And a piece of um, chain, or you can use twine, or you can use um, yarn. Um, and you're going to need something to spread um, your paint onto your canvases. You're going to need a canvas. It's The size is up to you. I am going to start on this one. If this doesn't work, I'll go to the next size. <laughs> and if that doesn't work, I'll go to this size. And if it doesn't work, we're just going to chalk it up as a um, fail and um, go from there. You're also going to need a piece of something that you're going to add your paint to. Um, I'm using a piece of cardboard. Um, so let's get started. Um, we're going to unwrap the canvas and they say to um, paint your cabinet have canvas um, with some um, with some paint and you want it pretty well coated um, so that your other paint will slide so I am going to use my navy um, I'm going to see if I can I'm going to put you toward my um, Okay, instead of the blue, it, it was not the color blue I wanted. So I am using Vineyard Green, and I painted my whole board the green. I like it better, the green. Um, and I just used a really good amount of green paint. And um, I am deciding to use my white, and I'm going to use the Caribbean, and a sky blue, and yellow uh, flame. Um, for my um, board here. I've got a piece of um, board um, for my paint and I am just using an old necklace. The chain looks like this. Um, nothing special. It's all tarnished. Um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to add my necklace. I'm going to move my board just down a little bit. As you could tell the blue was right here. It just I think I have too much blue in the room and this is where it'll go um, and if it works out then I want to get a bigger canvas and do one in um, my living room but I'm just going to put the necklace um, pretty much where it's not overlapping um, each other and I'm going to um, do a little bit of all the colors here and you want to put a lot of paint um, on your um, on your uh, necklace. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add um, bits and pieces like the blue here and maybe down here and one right here. And then I'm going to take, wipe that off because I'm a sloppy painter. Then I'm going to use the yellow and um, go a little bit right here and here and here. And you want to leave about an inch to two inch for, um, with no paint so you can grab your um, chain. Then I am going to use the Caribbean right next to the yellow and add some there, add some there, and add some there. 
And then I'm going to use the rest white and put it on the other part of the, the chain. And I'm going to take a, a paintbrush and make sure I have the chain saturated um, in all the paint. I'm doing the white first. And then I'm going to wipe it off with a towel, do the yellow, and then do the Caribbean, and then the blue, so it's all pretty well on the paint. Then what I'm going to do is take the chain and... Um, let me see, uh, make sure you see my board. Can you see my board? Okay, good. All right, so I'm going to take the chain out of the paint. And I am going to add it to my board. I'm going to do one side first. And they say to do narrow zigzag um, going just back and forth with the chain, making sure you um, just do narrow zigzag places. And I'm just going to uh, let that sit for a little bit. And then I'm going to take my chain and they, from all I um, have been hearing, is you pull slowly toward you um, and then um, it should make its own design and then straight out. Now I'm going to put it back in the paint the same pattern wise, the blue, the yellow, because there's plenty of paint to do the other. All right, and here is my design. That looks so cute. All right, now doing the same thing, making sure that the paint is all on my um, chain. Wiping it off, going to the yellow, and there'll be some green and mix colors on here, but it should work out just fine. And then the turquoise, the Caribbean. And then the blue. And then we'll do the white. All right. So I got the paint all. I'm going to do another flower here, and then I'm going to do one in the middle. So I'm going to take my chain and try to mimic the one that I just did. I'm making sure that the loops are nice and narrow. And this one is just going all over but where I want it to go. So that one kind of got out of um, sync, but that's okay. Um, let it sit for a little bit. Now I'm going to pull it toward me. Go straight. Putting it back into the paint so we can do the big one. little drop of paint right there. This is pretty forgiving. If you mess up, you just take your, huh, your green paint and fix it. Unless you like how it is.
Okay, so this is what my other flower looks like. Kind of oriental, I think. Okay, now um, I'm going to do one big one right in the middle. Try to do that anyway. I'm going to put paint on my chain, make sure it's good and coated. And then the white. Okay. I'm going to pick that up. And let's try to do this again better. Okay. I'm going to try to make big ones. Let that sit. If you can see, I think this would be pretty for Christmas. Um, do a um, Christmas tree kind of and see how that would work. That would be something. I bet it would work. So making sure that it's all down. Now I'm going to pull it toward me. Keeping it close to the board. I'm thinking it probably needed more paint on it. And that is the middle one. And now I think I'm going to do is add some wisp just at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is take the chain and just loop it like that. Add it to the paint. I don't care where what kind it is if it's all just jumbled and then place it on the board just like that and then I'm going to push it toward me I'm going to do it again I'm just kind of making like leaves I guess doing it push it down and then pull it and maybe do a longer one. Like right here. And then push it down. And do another one on the other side. And you don't have to do this. I'm just trying to make a design. Um, like a little leaf. Maybe some little ones now. Maybe put some on here that just kind of not so bright. Maybe one right there. Um, Let's see, I need a little one. I can't stop, y'all. I just keep on going. Uh, maybe a little one right there. I'm just adding um, my chain to the thing, just like a loop. And I'm just um, letting it drop, and then I pull it down. I think that's it. I really do like how it looks with the wisp. Can you see it? Is that not the cutest thing? I love it. That was so easy. Um, if you messed up, I don't like this part right here. I'm just going to take a little bit of green. A little bit of green and touch that up. Just to cover that up. Because I think it was just was too, um, I 
must have dropped some paint on there. I'm just going to fix the sides where my fingerprints went. And there it is. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It'll go so well in this room. Um, and I think, I think a Christmas one is in order. I think we can do a Christmas tree. Try to figure um, how to do that. Um, that would be um, something that I can try to do. Um, I think that's going to work out. Um, I, I wonder if you can make different patterns. I'll, I'll have to keep on playing. I've got the extra, um, the extra, uh, canvases. I can just have fun with it. So this was supposed to be done on Wednesday. I always like to share my crafts, a uh, crafts with you on Wednesday, but we have a DIY challenge, um, that I host, um, the first Wednesday of the month. And it is the first Wednesday of the month. So I'm changing out my craft day for Tuesday and doing a blog on Wednesday. I hope you don't mind, but um, I think you're going to enjoy the craft that um, had a little bit here. I messed up there. Um, I hope you enjoy the craft that I'm going to share with you on Wednesday up on my blog. We are doing a craft. Um, with dowel rods, um, and I have used many dowel rods um, in my craft room alone, um, and I put on my board, or on my blog, um, all the um, DIYs that I've used with um, dowel rods, so go check that out um, tomorrow, and um, hopefully you will um, pick up some inspiration using dowel rods, um, either by me or um, by um, some of my friends that um, I'm going to be uh, putting their links to their blog on the bottom of my page. So you won't miss that. Um, go check that out. Um, I'm Right now I'm just kind of adding a little bit of color to the green because um, I kind of touched up and I messed it up. So now I'm just kind of giving it a little bit of uh, color because I messed it up, but I think it's going to look just pretty. So here is my canvas using a piece of jewelry. Is that not the cutest little thing? I love it. I love it. I love it. So I wonder how long it's going to take me to have this dry. Um, I will let you know how long it takes. And then I'm going to practice to see if I can do Christmas trees. And we'll do a Christmas, um, a Christmas uh, canvas using um, a chain or some um, stra uh, string. So I hope you like this DIY. <laughs> I'm back here. I hope you like this DIY. Give it a shot. It's so much fun. A dollar for the canvas, and I have the paint and the piece of necklace. So a dollar, you can't it. It might just give you an um, hour of fun to do to see what your creation is. I hope you have a great day. God bless.